This is the Bill Squire Show. I got a cute dress for Columbus Pride. Oh, nice. I not get any pictures yet, though. <clears throat> Happy birthday, Tommy. Thank you. It's Tommy's Friday. birthday. Not yet. Friday. Friday. But we celebrated a little bit today. Hell yeah. Uh, had an ice cream cake that said... Happy birthday, Tommy. That's so clever. I mean, I'm so a pretty clever. I'm a professional comedian <laughs> after all. Happy birthday, Thomas L C. Thank you. <laughs> very, very formal. Yeah. Uh, Thomas L C. I love it. And uh yeah, it was uh it was real cute. Uh what'd you, what'd you do this week? How'd you celebrate your birthday? Um was that part of the celebration? But that was just a good Monday, I think. Yeah, I had what? a great Monday. What'd you do on Monday? I fucked one of my friends. One of my lady oh friends. Oh my god, Tommy fucked the lady. Yeah, now, how do you know fans. her though? Well, it's a little complicated. Okay. Let's well, <laughs> she, hear it. We can get into complicated on the show. She's a model that I've shot with. She's also a photographer who mm-hmm. has shot me. And she's also dating my well. Not officially, but dating my husband. They're hooking up. Yeah, oh they're God. they you, fucking. You and your husband are uh, Eskimo brothers. <laughs> <laughs> in, you're in, Inuit brothers. That's so adorable. Yes, yeah. Oh my God, you're yeah. drinking his Kool Aid. Mm. Uh, what? It, you never heard that expression before? Not in the yeah. sex world, no. Oh, yeah. No, That's yeah. so much fun. It was a great Monday. That's good. In the apartment, because because it was an Airbnb, but yeah. like it was all windows. Like and all like, the way around, like in the city. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was downtown. It was on, I think, High or Main, something like that. One of mm. those big streets. But in Columbus. Was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, well, we ain't got a high street. <laughs> no. There's we don't. people high on the street in Cleveland. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I thought you were gonna high five me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah. Cleveland drugs. Um, you but guys yeah. just uh, just just hand stuff, mouth stuff. Oh, a little bit of everything. Toys. Hitachi. We use the Hitachi on her for the first time. Oh, she never had it. She's never had, had it. She said to bring it next time. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was great. Oh, <clears throat> nice. Do you guys Mouth do any, hand. any butt stuff? No butt stuff. We both <laughs> we both have IBS. You, so you we just husband, wanted to say. <laughs> you and your husband's girlfriend both have IBS? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, your husband has a type. <laughs> He has oh, an nice. actual other girlfriend too, and I think she also might have IBS. Okay, so Here's it the thing. It's hot <laughs> girls have IBS. Is that so, true? Yes, yes. It's from the oh, eating disorders. It's from the, That's not yes. true. No. I've, had, I've had plenty of anal with hotties. <clears throat> they didn't shit on my cock. Well, I'm not saying we would shit on your cock, but just sometimes you don't. Nah. Just yeah, you you don't want to try. Do don't want to try. Can't yeah. do it. Don't want to risk it. In the I, Airbnb, I don't anyway, want to see for and shit. AJ. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to this week's episode. I don't, I don't have irritable bowel syndrome. I have comfortable bowel. bowel I syndrome. wish I did. Fuck I have, you. I have relaxed bowel syndrome. That'd that, be great. That's great for you. Yeah. yeah, that's it's yeah. fantastic. Uh, you uh, know? Yeah, I know. I, that's why I said. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I would say I have. Uh, just like annoyed bowel syndrome, mm-hmm. where oh, yeah. there's just like, like you're putting this like, in this me again. again. <laughs> yeah. well, I've had enough of you. I, I do. I think I do have a problem though with my bowel. Like every time I sit down to go, I either work very hard for a very little amount of feces to come out of me, or the second I sit down, my entire body falls apart. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, that like could you're be shitting IBS. your own bones. Huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like there's like bones. There's like out. a. <laughs> Like an ew, like the oh, I'm, puke. I'm, I'm, I'm holding a kidney. <laughs> no, I think that could be IBS. There's oh. like so many different fucking symptoms. It's insane. Yeah. It's, yeah. So anyway, happy birthday, Tommy. Uh, I got you a present. It's on the way. It what will, is it? I can't tell you. You have to see it in person. It's okay. it, so much better. See, she's. I showed it. I think so. I yeah. think I. Yeah. I think the reveal on the show is the way to go with okay. that. Uh, but When's we got you a cake. I don't know. It's okay. coming from far away. China. Yeah. So it's you know you're. You, you, you'll someday, like it. Yeah. Someday I'll love it. Yeah, yeah. someday you'll love it. Um, but this has been a, a pretty interesting week. We, AJ's got some stuff to talk about. Did but you before... fuck a lady friend? No, I didn't no. fuck a lady friend. Well, I you fucked have a my girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> yesterday, no. if that counts. Um, it does, yeah. So, um, but... Let's just say, though, Tommy, you and I are Eskimo brothers now. <laughs> I fucked your husband. <laughs> 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 and we did do it. <laughs> And he does have IBS now. (laughs) Neither one of us have IBS. Well, he does now. It is Thomas L. C. (laughs) So there's a couple things I want to go over before we get into AJ's story. Um, We have to dance around this one 
a little bit because I don't want to reveal the person's name, but you guys can see it. So this is a guy that I've known for a long time. He does comedy as well. And he was talking about how his special that he put on YouTube got 10,000 views. And I was like, oh, good for him. Like, he's not even someone that I like. That's why I'm not saying his name because I don't want to embarrass him. But he did something kind of embarrassing. Mm. What did he do? So I saw that it, it got 10,000 views and I went and I like... Is that a gonna, lot for YouTube? I don't know. It's I mean, 10,000 views is a good amount of views okay. to get on a special. Like okay. it's, it's pretty good. Uh, and then I went and looked at the comments and uh, they start off regular and then they get to this one and they'll say, we'll call, we'll call him uh, Joe. Joe, Joe Blow. Mm-hmm. Joe Blow is one of the best comedian in every platform. His anchoring is too good. I also enjoyed this video. Video is spelled V-E-D-I-O. This video that he spelled video right is most interesting and, not and, and funny. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's, I'm like, that's not a great, but maybe they oh, English is a no. second language. Oh. Oh, you, and Tommy's getting ahead. I'm having a hard I, I'm Okay, but there keep yet. going. Uh, hey, here's another one. Uh, oh, I think I know what yeah. yeah. Hey, brother, what can I say? Laughing stomachache. <laughs> I couldn't help but smile at the way he spoke and the posture of his hands and body parts. <laughs> his words were also very funny. And thank you so much for entertaining us with this video. Will you entertain us with more videos like this in front? <laughs> so <laughs> so what do you guys guess? He bought those views. He, he bought those views, but it also sounds like whatever he bought it from, they may be like porn bots. Like, what is this front view shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, That's so funny. You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, so then uh, if you... <laughs> You have to translate? see it. Well, when you translate it, I think you can. Uh, on the on the app, you can translate it. But when you translate the ones that are in, I'm guessing this is Spanish. So can you pull up this on YouTube and? Yeah. Oh, on a phone. Because then you'll hit. Uh, I have to know his name. Yeah. Uh, it's it's. Uh, Here, yeah. Right there. That's what it's called. It's a secret. So. Uh, when you tra- hit translate on it, it is the same comment as the first one I yeah, read. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite... Obvious. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I'll let you get to that and read one of the translated ones. Yeah, make sure you turn the sound off so that we don't play. Even that one. <laughs> this is one of the best <laughs> ones. When I was in depression. <laughs> then I watched the video... <laughs> laughing crying emoji i laughed a lot yeah another one in this is a really amazing video very excellent <laughs> <laughs> do another one of the this is one of the best oh yeah you just did that yeah. one but why are there so many on, in a different language too <laughs> well that's why you know why yeah I can't. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, let me see. Don't say his name. Don't say. I know. I can't. But look. At this. Oh, the <laughs> way that they spelled his name. Hold on. Uh, they spelled his last name. <laughs> uh, Joe Blow's words are very good. I had a lot of fun. I smiled a lot after watching the video. I want to see such a beautiful video. <laughs> Translated is so funny. I hate it's so it. funny. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with him doing it just so it goes up in yeah. the algorithm. Mm-hmm. But but what the thing is, it doesn't actually make it go up in the algorithm because YouTube sniffs this stuff out and uh, like it actually ends up hurting more. Yeah, Michael is one. Got to add that out. Yeah, <laughs> Joe Blow is one of the best comedians <laughs> on all platforms. Your anchor is too good. So this is a translated yeah. one. So, so the same. Yeah, but it's the same as the other one. So, so yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Oh, that that is embarrassing. Did you tell him that you know? You just no. do like an I know what you did. No, <laughs> like, I didn't do send that. Him something. <laughs> Make him sweat it out. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been very funny to just kind of go through them. Mm. So then, local or not? 
Uh, no, no, he's not local. Mm. Um, and then there's this guy on Facebook that's reply. So like they, po- we post our podcast automatically, the Alan Cox show every day. And we've been off all week because Alan's dealing with some family stuff. Uh, we'll talk about it on the Alan Cox show when we're back on the air next week. So I'm not trying to spill the beans on any of that stuff, but what station? 100.7 WMMS. Nice. The Buzzard. Also, you can listen on the iHeartRadio I app. saw a buzzard today. Ooh. What? Eating right. a dead animal. Aww. That's what they do. That's what they do. That's yeah. their life. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> this guy. It's really nice. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. Is really. <laughs> I saw that. I, should, I was like, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> I should pull up his comments. <laughs> because. I saw, I saw the buzzard. Then do you know what I did? I made an OnlyFans video with it. <laughs> mm, what did you do with it? Uh, we played with a Hitachi <laughs> <laughs> for the first time. There um, was butt stuff. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? What? It does have IBS. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She so. Ask what about that? Uh, yeah. This guy ha- is commenting on like uh, posts that like. Our auto posts. We don't. We're, we don't use our Facebook all that much. Mm-hmm. I mean, we probably should use it more. But there's a lot of stuff going on, and like, but it's so 2022, we, right? Yeah, but, that, but there's still a lot of people Facebook. on Facebook, <laughs> and there's a lot, you know. So, but but this guy's commenting on replay stuff. You got a burp? No, or, no, I'm okay. <laughs> so these are segments, and he's been, you know, he listens all the time. These are segments from years ago and all over the place and he's commenting like this is live today and so (laughs) and i think it's pretty obvious to figure out like this is not you know if you listen to the show you know know, when it's a a replay Mm -hmm. it doesn't take that long all right so he he starts off by saying where's your political jokes anymore now this guy is a native english speaker (laughs) (laughs) oh wait you need not say them anymore SS, the political jokes are in office. This is how he really spells things. Mm. The people your brilliant staff supports. You had Trump jokes daily. Now Trump jokes. Trump looks like Einstein and Stephen Hawking combined compared to your little Did you incompetent fart? staff. You relate with so epically it. well. Well, things there? are awesome oh, <laughs> with them in office. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, what does smell like a fart? I know, I think it was her. Whoopsie. (laughs) So that's 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 that guy, you know, trying to get engagement. And I was like, okay. And I was just like, uh, hey, we're on best of this week. And he's like, don't know what that means, but um, okay. (laughs) And I said, it means you are listening to old shows. Thanks for listening. (laughs) Uh, and he goes. Everyday listeners would most definitely be the one thing you actually accomplish as being right or having one clue about what you're talking about is completely out of your realm. Studies show that pissing people off brings interaction more so than any other avenue. And being always wrong and clueless would definitely piss people off to chime in. Congrats. Yeah, well, he just blah, blah, blah. Can I just say something? This guy uh, writes as if he is still someone who listens to terrestrial radio. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, listen, the guy's guy's obviously an adult, but, like, he goes on and on, and, like, all I'm doing is replying and being like, yeah, but thanks for listening. Right. And, like, so that's what I just keep saying. I'm going, and thanks for listening. Mm -hmm. And then he's, like, screenshotting stuff and putting it on his page, and no one like it's commenting. <laughs> like when you look at it, like he no likes, no likes. Why is it this? Why is it the same? It, he he shared his own thing <laughs> on his page because oh, nobody liked it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Twenty nine yeah. minutes ago, then, but he shared it two set two minutes later. Uh, mm. and oh. then one like who liked it. One person liked that post. No likes, mm. no likes, no likes, no likes, hmm. no likes. I'll let you know when he's got more than one like on a post. I'm scrolling. How we many are... friends does he have? I don't know. I think his friends are all, he's still without a like, <laughs> still without a like. He's just screaming into the void. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still no like he's talking about Arnold and LeBron. And that's okay. We yeah. all have a little corner of the internet that we can mm-hmm. call our own. Our little bedroom. 
He's he's just the, Tommy has a few. I do have <laughs> bedrooms. A few. No friends to show. I don't think he actually has any friends. Mm. I, I really Maybe don't think yeah. so. Maybe he's a bot. Huh. He looks like a serial <laughs> killer. Yeah. Why did is that his comments on his picture? Yeah. Uh, that was weird. Replying to oh, that's some serial really killer shit. I hate him. He's yeah, he's a sad dude, but he really likes to does he come in on other like like pages and stuff? Can you tell? Uh, I'm sure. Well, like at one point he's like, 92.3 The Fan has way more interaction mm. on their Facebook page. I'm like, again, we don't really use our Facebook page. Yeah. Like, and why we, is he even cut? But like they, because he's a psycho. Yeah. Like, and that's uh. what people like, he's yeah. just an angry, sad dude. And like, I've been getting people riled up on Twitter a lot because I've been pretty vocal about Deshaun Watson being a piece of shit. Yeah, it looks like you've picked a new team. I picked a new team. I'm a Chargers fan now. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I like uh, their quarterback, Jimmy Throwballs, and yeah. I don't know anybody's name yet. <laughs> I know Keenan Allen. I know yeah, uh, Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert. He's uh, a quarterback. Yeah. Who's their running back? That guy's good. We traded Austin for Austin Eckler. Yeah, Eckler. Yeah. yeah. So I got to I gotta brush up. But I like the colors. I like that they threw shade at the Browns in their uh, schedule announcement video. Yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll go with the, I'll go with the What'd Chargers. They say? Uh, so it's they made it. First of all, you would love this because they made it an anime. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, I yeah. might be a fan too. And yeah. uh, when it gets to like, at, they they have like a little cartoon about each team they're playing. <coughs> anime. So, uh, they have a little anime about. Wait, 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 wait. Is it kind of still a cartoon? No, no it's not What's the same. What's the difference? It's just not the same. I, I don't know the, the technical oh, okay. difference, but it is. So anyway, they're going from team to team with a little joke or a bit about each team. Like when they get to the Jaguars, they have a Jaguar that's dressed like Urban Meyer sitting on a stool, <laughs> like when he was getting that girl dancing up on him. Right. And then the very next one is the Browns and just goes to like a screen with like a rainbow and it says... On advice from our lawyers, we cannot comment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, or something That's like to funny. that. To, yeah. So I was like, okay, they're throwing some That's shade at the Browns. Funny. I'm I'm for it. That's funny. And yeah. and they have a fight song too. Do you remember the uh, San Diego Superchargers? Oh and yeah, they, but that yeah. they're not they're now they're Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah That's so. true. The Los Angeles. So I'm I will I'll, I'll get hip to their culture or whatever. But uh, I just I can't fuck with the Browns anymore. They just make yeah. me too mad uh, for like how they seem to have known all the stuff that keeps coming out, but they're they were just they really thought it was going to blow over. Yeah, and yeah, uh, I did see Miles Garrett last night though. Oh, that's I cool. saw that. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. pretty cool. That's, what happens when cool. you see your, your boy Nick Chubb again? I'll be uh, listen. I like those guys. Yeah, I just don't like Deshaun Watson. I don't like Jimmy Haslam. Yeah, like so you know I want the I, I'm not. Rooting against them. What about Andrew hey. Barron and Stefanski? They're I, I don't really like them. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, because yeah. they're they're kind of complicit in the whole thing, yeah. and like you know, it's it's a complicated situation. But it's like it's football. Yeah. I'm allowed to cheer for another team. Who That's gives true. a fuck? Yeah, it's yeah. not the end. Of, like the people that have this undying loyalty to a football team, where it's like part of their personality it's and weird. like who they are. It is weird. It is weird. I'm like it's, it's with anything. Just but, yeah, like. So I'm going to cheer for the Chargers now. I got to figure so out how to watch like the games. Really yelled at me for calling anime a cartoon. <laughs> 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 You're just like, it's not a cartoon. But the, the, the wild thing, like there's so many people that are, they're like, well, he's not in jail or he didn't get, and I'm like, yeah, he's still a creep. Like he's like Deshaun yeah. Watson's a creep. Yeah, he's a creepy dude. He's, he's a creepy, creepy dude. You know, I'm I'm not fucking with that guy. I'm, yeah, I I'm think I'm done too. After the 24 is just too many. Wait, what's wait what? 24 accusations <laughs> or 20, 24 lawsuits. Yeah, but there's 66 Oops. women. Yeah, that, that he, he went and saw. Went and saw over 17 months. That's insane. And like pulled his dick out and like tried to get him to, mm-hmm. you know, and and again he, there are some accounts of him tr- like forcefully putting his dick in. A woman's mouth. That's what I've heard. Mm-hmm. So I don't mind calling him a rapist because I've heard that and, mm. and I want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he he's he's a creep. He's, mm-hmm. he's, a, he's yeah. I mean, yeah, like that's weird. No, no one needs that many fucking women. No like, one needs that many massage. mas- massages. <laughs> of course. Also, if you want sixty six women to jerk you off, you are a NFL quarterback. You can, can get him to do that. He mm. likes 
them to he likes to try and coerce them into doing it that's mm-hmm. what turned him on yeah, yeah. and that's what's gross about it and it's also ruining the massage fantasy the the fantasy for when you get a massage by someone that is attractive is that they're so turned on that they want to jerk you off or yeah. suck your dick mm-hmm. because you're not not, not that like you force it's got to be their I, like, right <laughs> like in my idea the fantasy isn't not not like Oh, my dick's hard. What are you going to do about it? It's that. It's always her coming on yeah, to you. Yeah, it's her coming yeah. on to you because she can't resist you. Mm-hmm. Like, that's yeah. the idea. Yeah. And that's not I what's happening. Too much about it. Yeah. The massage fantasy. So, what changed for you? The amount, or was that a joke? No, that was a joke. Okay. Yeah, that was All a right. Joke. 22 is fine, man, but 24 yeah, is. Yeah, yeah 22 okay. is fine. 24. But the thing is, there actually are people that are like. Yeah that way like, yeah yeah, yeah. No. they're just kind of like okay it's getting weird now yeah but it is <laughs> i know that's right. why i was asking i'm well, like so but, what was no, it that was changed your mind but there are more details coming out like him sitting in happy baby pose yeah asking to get his taint massaged yeah wait i don't know yoga so i don't know what the, the he like he, i'll pull it up hold on back and you put, put your feet like you grab your feet and you're like oh okay and that he, happened he wanted, on Monday, I think. Wanted, oh, there we oh, go. Yeah, so he was he was sitting like yeah. this. Being okay. like, yeah, he wanted the area. <laughs> Which again, between. nothing wrong with that. No, but, but it's got to be consensual. That's yeah. what yeah. it comes down to, Deshaun. Wait, so he just, did that non-consensually like to the somebody? camera? Like you're talking to the camera? <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet he watched. Do you see that he uh, he he made his Twitter private? Yeah, he has like over a million followers, yeah. and he made his Twitter. <laughs> That's private. not suspicious at yeah. all. It's so funny. Yeah, he he did this during a massage, like, and one of like like most of these women have almost the same exact account where yeah. they'd either have sh- sheets or like big towels to put over them, and he would either bring his own like hand towel or like use the smallest towel as he could, lay starting on his back, mm-hmm. and then like wiggle around so the towel would fall off and his boner would like Ooh, flop around oh and like no. you try and like oops sorry yeah. look at my boner yeah, yeah. look at Ooh, my peepee how yeah. weirdo very weird you got a big old peepee <laughs> touch it touch does it. he hey will you touch my peepee I would, no one said, any, said anything about yeah. the size of it or anything yeah. that's good I'm sure it's fine I don't need it but know. it's just weird like the the whole what a waste I like how you give him a benefit of the doubt on his penis size you're like it's probably a fine penis <laughs> I, I probably haven't heard anything like yeah one way or the other. Most people right. have a fine penis, I think. I think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's my experience. Well, <laughs> most, yeah, yeah, penis mm. havers. <laughs> penis havers, indeed. Uh, I think that's what we should. Penis havers and not penis havers. Yeah. Gender debate <laughs> solved. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there's. So I made jokes about him at Raj's. Yes, you did. Album recording last week. And you week. walked the guy. I walked again. So I did. I did jokes about gun control, which are like pretty silly jokes. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not taking. Like I mean, I'm definitely against just anybody having a gun. Like I'm saying, but I'm saying like sensible gun control. And if you like love guns and don't want there to be any regulations, you're a fucking crazy person. Yeah, that's, that is so, crazy. And then the other thing I was saying is that I called Deshaun Watson a rapist, uh, but I. Did a joke about him, and then I said, like, the way I'm boycotting the Browns is I'm not going to play for him this year, yeah. <laughs> which is like obviously right. <laughs> <laughs> the joke is they would never ever want me on their team, <laughs> and this guy like if he's you, if you played for them, would you? Would you? I might ask for a trade. You would. I can think you, I'd probably you ask can, for a you trade. You do that. Yeah, yeah, I would say. Yeah. Has I, has I, anyone I, on the Browns? No, that's gross. Yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, it is gross. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, made these jokes, but then I go into my bit about bestiality and like how I like to judge stories of people getting caught doing bestiality to make me feel better about my life. So like, yeah, I can't do bestiality. Yeah, I have irritable bowel. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you do it right, it won't even matter. Uh, but yeah, so like I'm denouncing bestiality, and that's when the guy decided to leave the show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh so yeah, I did see your. I'm like saying like, hey, bestiality, that's bad, and this guy is like, <laughs> I've, I've out, had it, and he's like, he, I've had it. Wait, Thumbs did he down. really say yeah. it in the? <laughs> Yeah, he's, I thought it was more of like he got up and like it was kind of like kind of funny. Ew, yeah, so wow, like, okay. He got up and like he like fucked walked goats. out and like that's exactly. And someone in the audience uh, goes, 
Ah, oh, he fucks dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yes. exactly. Like, that's the only reason you would leave during the bestiality stuff yeah. is like, yeah, you're like, that's weird. yeah, I fuck dogs. I can't help it. I was born this way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Do you know cats? Cats, you know how like when you hear cats have sex, it sounds like they're in pain. Wow. Yeah, it's because they are. Yeah, yeah. you know a male they cat has like latches. barbs. So, yeah, at the end of their penis, mm-hmm. which is like crazy because you can't even t- you can't even taste it. <laughs> Why would you be able to taste a barb? Well, you can't feel it on your tongue. Is okay, right. well, they're yeah. still not when that you're big. Yeah. A cat's dick. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. That's all tiny. I'm just glad you haven't got because that joke is about people that get caught doing bestiality. Right. AJ's <laughs> one step ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna catch me. Uh, so, yeah, that was cool. That the Raj's uh, taping went really well. Uh, so that was that was cool to to be a part of that. Hell and yeah! And uh, you've been working on his pilot this week. I was, yeah. And uh, how did it all go? I kind of had a little bit of a meltdown. Well, how'd the really? first day go? It went, it went all right. Yeah. It went okay. Um, and then day two, you had a meltdown? Yeah, I had a little bit of a meltdown. Why? It was it was like a Jerry Maguire-esque, <laughs> like, just just complete melt. It, it's hard to put your finger on it, really. Um, it's kind of hard for me to, like, actually pinpoint what did it. Mm-hmm. There's just a lot of contributing. When you things. say meltdown, was yeah, it angry? Was it, it? Yeah. Like, yeah, crying? I, was I, it? I snapped? It was a little bit of all of it. Oh, you cried. Yeah, oh. I did. You, did you cry in the moment or did you cry later? Later. Yeah. I was yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On the way home, and pretty much through the night. Not the whole night, but like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you called me. Or, I did. I was like, well, I went to a dark place. place. He he oh, he texts me and he's like, I had a. Like I snapped, I, I had a meltdown. I was like, "Oh man, do you need to talk about what?" He's like, not, "Not yet. I'll call you later." And then you like text me a little bit, and you're like, "I think I might need to take a break from the show." Yeah. And I was oh, like, "Okay." I wanted to like just quit everything. Yeah. I but know I, those but feelings. I, like in the in so, the- but you were directing this pilot. Let's, yeah. let's let's we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. And the first day you you said went well, but they're long days. They're long days, and you're working with a crew that hasn't done anything like this and a lot of novice actors yeah and which i don't have a bad thing to say about any of them right it's like when you do this you carry a lot of stress yeah mm-hmm. that a lot of people are kind of like you know they, they come up to you and just say hey man don't worry about it it's yeah. just like well i, I kind of have to yeah, yeah your yeah, job that's is my to job. worry I've, about I've it i've done stuff like yeah. this before like yeah. i yeah. know i like i was really mm-hmm. i've done it yeah. Like in, well, in and that's why he, he he got you. And then it goes to day two, and you guys were filming at a coffee shop. Yeah. And the owner of the coffee shop was trying to get you guys out of there, from what I understand. So that she was trying to get us out. So what happened? And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. I can't blame her entirely. But there there's other things going on. What, what are the other things that were going on? It's It, it was just... You know, going you well, know. and you told me you weren't like eating or anything like that. And yeah, like, but like that's that. I, I know con- you will disagree. It's with a me. contributing factor but to I've, I've crankiness. I've done that before, though. I've okay. done that before, though. Like I'm, it's not. But I'm saying that it. People your body's change. change yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I didn't. It's you. If you, you didn't sleep did, well and you didn't eat anything, but I, but I didn't. I didn't feel tired. I wasn't. Hungry. Yeah, because yeah, you don't always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're running off 100 percent adrenaline. Yeah, like but it's it's. Uh, but that way, that's when you get irritable. When there's like a marathon runner, you don't go like, why aren't you stopping to eating? It's like, because they can't. They're going to get sluggish. And then they can't go. But you're not running a marathon. You're directing dude, a TV show. D- dude, it's a marathon. Like it's, I understand. But if you... Yeah. But but a marathon runner runs for, what, three and a half, four hours. You're working 12-hour days. You should eat some food. I know, but I, w- I did, like, at the end of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ate... you need to eat a little bit in between so you don't get so angry. And th- th- this was, like, the thing, too, is I'm a 33-year-old man. <laughs> like, I know when my body needs to eat. But it doesn't sound like you do. I know, but I didn't, I, it, it, that, I, I, I am firm and strong in the fact that that had nothing to do with I am firm and strong that I think if you had had a little bit of, if you had a, a granola snack, bar. Snack. No, like a Snickers, you wouldn't have gone crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the you're commercials do say that. Even if you don't, don't think you're hungry, like your body needs something to keep from going into don't, those moody phases. I don't phases. have a bad thing to say about any of them, except for that stupid bitch that owns the fucking coffee shop. <laughs> so wait, uh, did they know you were going to be in there? Yeah. So here's what happened. We rented the place out from her. 
We're setting up for the next scene. These things take a long time. Yeah, mm-hmm, I so imagine. Lights like, and everything. Yeah. Like you're shooting from different angles. You have to move everything around. It takes forever. It takes a hurry long up and wait. time. Mm-hmm. It's, it's hurry up and wait. And that's why I don't like doing filming and stuff like that because I've done inducing. stuff too, and yeah. it's so boring. That's why actors have trailers. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's why people have trailers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, you know, I understand this. You know, you're not going to command a trailer for something of this scale. Right. But it's still pretty large mm-hmm. in scope like yeah. in, in, in yeah there's ambitions. a lot i mean this is a full crew like you you had it wasn't full quite cast. It, it was short of a full crew i mean but, but like it's, it's a pretty sizable crew it's a pretty sizable cast like there's a lot of people there like it's right. not like filming a sketch where there's like one cameraman like there was there was yeah. a lot going on well we had one camera but i mean like I mean, like a cameraman and like two people acting, right? Like that, yeah, yeah, that right. And even that takes a long time. Yeah, but so we're we're in there, and this woman comes in, and she's just like, "Hey, I just want to let you guys know, like I used to." She owns the coffee shop. Mm-hmm. She's just like, "I used to do stuff like this, you know, thirty years ago." And we're like, "Okay." She's <laughs> like, "You guys just need to get the shot." And I'm like, "What?" And then she starts talking shit. About the crew, and I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, fuck, that. like mm-hmm. I'm not shooting here, like fuck this lady. Um, that wasn't very civilized of her. No, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hint, hint mm-hmm. of the coffee place. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, which I'll never go to again. Yeah, I'm not. I'm no, mm. no. I don't go there anyway. But yeah, yeah. Um, that was just a straw that broke the camel's mm-hmm. back, and I just fucking went off. So like, it was her saying that. that what did she was, say about the crew? Like, what was she saying? By that point, I just stopped paying attention to what she was saying. And I just like, was went into like this <laughs> fucking rage, like rage cage. Mm-hmm. I was just like, I want to fucking kill everybody right now. Obviously, I didn't kill anybody, and I never would have. But oh, Or did he? We'll find out on next week's sorry, episode. I uh-huh. you. And I just, I freaked. I snapped, <laughs> and I left. I mm. went home, and they tried to get me back. Everybody was concerned about me, which means yeah. a lot. Like... I was very um, concerned about you. Uh, it never got to the point where I'm like, I'm going to hurt myself over this. No, but you didn't want to quit everything. I did want. Yeah. I didn't want to leave the house. Yeah. Like I was like, I never want to leave the house again. Yeah. And then that turned into embarrassment mm-hmm. because it was kind of a public thing. Yeah. And Mary kind of made me feel better because she's like, I've had stuff like that before happen too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and and I was just kind of like, the one time I like smashed my headphones. Like, I was on the air, and, like, someone said, like, a caller commented, and I, like, ripped my headphones off and slammed them down and, like, walked out. Yeah. So, like, things like that happen. Yeah. And I, I have, just, too. I'm not a comedian, but yeah. same shows happen. Yeah. And I was just kind of, like, they wanted me to come back, and I, I was undecided. But the next day, I, I thought about going back, but I just wasn't there. I just wasn't there. They weren't going to get a good version of me. Mm-hmm. And they needed someone to like. Be there. Captain mm-hmm. that ship. And my attitude would have been, let's get this over with. Yeah. Instead of let's get it done. Yeah. You know. Let's and th- like do it. Good job. Do it right versus just be right. done. Yeah. And you know, I, these things happen when you care about your craft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like these are bound to happen every now and then. Like you had moments like this. Yeah, absolutely. Where, where the craft drives you nuts. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? And it was a bad time for that to happen. Um, but and that's why you need to eat. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's because I didn't have a, a snack, have a little snack, get that blood sugar going. Yeah. You'll feel better. <laughs> I still kind of feel a little foggy. Yeah. Like, it's weird. It's well, I'm glad weird you few days. didn't leave the show. Uh, I want you to feel better. Also, everybody from, like, I think most people can relate to what you yeah. went through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, as far as I can tell, like... It was just a bad time yeah. for it to happen. Yeah. It was just kind but of But that's like, usually when, like... There's it never that, happens at a good time. Yeah, there, when, when is a good <laughs> time for that to right, happen? It never yeah. happens when you're just like, it, well, no, I guess in the middle of the night when you're alone, like the beginning of Jerry Maguire. <laughs> like, that's the best time for that to happen. But, yeah, but that's also pretty unrealistic. It yeah. usually happens when you're around people and, yeah. you know, it's it's not uh, as private. Like, for a real, like, I mean, obviously you can freak out and have bad moments by yourself, but usually it, there's there's a catalyst for a situation like that. Yeah. 
And so I would suggest. And then I felt I felt bad that I I blew up at Raj because Raj out of all the people yeah. doesn't mm-hmm. deserve to talk. Nobody deserves to be talked to the way I talk to him, but him of all people. Yeah. Did you apologize? Yeah, we're okay. We're all right. Did, was it public, like to the group? Did you like stand up? And no, kind of like but, hey guys. But I got loud. Yeah. Like there were like times throughout the the, the process where Raj was like, "Hey, are you mad at me?" I'm like, "No, you'll know. You'll know <laughs> if I ever get mad at you." And it, he found out mm-hmm. when I'm like when I'm mad. Um, but I'm a pretty patient guy. You know, like I worked in a... Until he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have eaten, you would have had more energy to like clap back no, at that lady instead of like blowing No, but up. it wasn't... I, I didn't feel any less... You don't feel it, but it still happens. No, but I didn't feel any less energized. Like I was going. You but, don't but necessarily again, do though. Like people but, in but fasting... It's, it's not yeah, necessarily about energy it's about function mm-hmm. but i was functioning but I was just functioning differently fine. not no ever. i was functioning the same it was just <laughs> if you were functioning the same then you probably wouldn't have freaked out no yeah. i think i would have i think i would have well I it, guess was, we'll it was a lot know. of stuff it was a lot of Let stuff me... leading up into that mm-hmm. yeah but That's again, what I'm saying I think, is if you had that intake, the calories, I'm saying the energy, you would there's there's you would be able to handle it better. And maybe being a little more sluggish, as you put it, would have helped you calm you down a little bit. Yeah. You, you're like, I don't have the energy yeah. to right. freak That's out insane. at people yeah. Yeah. or whatever. You know, All right, you guys are right. <laughs> yes, I guess I don't know now my body. Can I ask you what was my advice to you Sunday night? You go get some Nyquil and yeah, get some sleep. Yeah, did you get some Nyquil? No. You fucking lied to me. You said you're going to do it. No, I knew no you but were... I got sleep though. I got sleep. Okay. Yeah. Good. I got sleep. Yeah. Good. Let's yeah. see your health app. It tells you if you got sleep. How much night. sleep did you get? Oh, what? do you not have an iPhone? Oh yeah, yeah I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Green text. I, oh, dude, I, I was in bed from like not necessarily. Like, but how much sleep did you get? I do. I don't know. I got. I got eight. I got eight. Okay, good. That's eight, and that's yeah. what I want. But I still think you take that Nyquil. It's a nice deep really sleep. It feels <laughs> feels real good. I like a nice, but I didn't even uh, Zquil Zquil. I'm not even saying Nyquil Zquil. But I, you know, it's a good sleep. Sponsor us. Even even the next day, <laughs> even the next day, I still didn't like snap out of it. I was just kind of yeah. I broke. It broke me. Oh. Huh? Do you have like depression and anxiety? Pro- probably. But you don't like sleep. take meds for it. No, or I don't, I don't mm-hmm. take meds for it. I don't. I don't think you need to be medicated. No, think, no, that's not what I'm saying. But I do saying. think you have some control and anger issues. And also, one of the things you're saying is like, I can't. Like, I'm embarrassed. And I was like, oh, but you're like the guy that's like, yeah. nothing embarrasses mm-hmm. you. But well, you, you actually get pretty embarrassed. Well, I got pretty embarrassed. You got to reconcile that. Well, no, but there was a lot of people there that were kind of like, you know, mm-hmm. and you know. I just, I, I, the way I yelled at Raj. I'm not saying you shouldn't be embarrassed. I'm yeah. saying, like. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. Yeah. Like, there's a yeah. lot, like. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think yeah. I was the only one. I didn't. I yeah, know, but, like, the embarrassment, yeah. you kind of just got to think about it. Like, yeah. Yeah. you're not the only one. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, is that how you deal with embarrassment? Mm-hmm. How do you deal with okay. this IBS? <laughs> Meds <laughs> and <Meds>. weed. <laughs> um, there you go. Sleep I guess it's eating. a med too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, getting I, a good night's sleep, yeah. a little Zequil, a little I bit of food. Don't fix your IBS. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, I love it. All right, well, I think that's all for this week's episode. Yeah. You guys got anything else? Acknowledge that it was Tommy's birthday. Yeah, we start. We, we talked about the cake. Off. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that yeah. I guess we did. Uh-huh. And happy we birthday about the, to me. Have, have, yeah, the cake said happy birthday. Mm-hmm. It, was lo- it was a lot of fun. It was great. Um. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out this episode. And it's not done yet because I did an interview with Mark Norman, who's going to be at uh, the Agora June 18th. I'll be opening for him. Oh, how nice. And cool. uh, so I'm going to throw that on the end of this. Nice. Yeah, he's Hell a funny yeah. dude. Uh, we also talk about embarrassment and stuff. Oh, he can't cool. take a compliment. Mm, that's hard for I me. I know too. those yeah. too. That's yeah. hard for me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for checking this out and enjoy the interview with Mark Norman. Do you guys got anything you want to add? Oh, Tommy, for a birthday, subscribe. Spend to me her. money. Yeah, send, send me money. Pay me money or yeah. Subscribe to your OnlyFans. Yeah. 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 So you got a money. Girl, girl seeing this drop money, 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 money. Yes. At Tommy LC. Soon. Bye. No, you got to talk. You got to say what you have. Well, he quit everything. Do you have everything. anything going on? He quit everything. Oh, every. Oh, you did. Other. Th- oh, okay. I was like, oh, no. it's like, oh no. All right. Well, enjoy this interview with Mark Norman, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hey, I'm here with Mark Norman. Uh, 
he's uh, one of the, the best doing it. He got the blessing from Jerry Seinfeld and uh, everything started taking off since then. <laughs> so I can't take a cup, but, but I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, how's things going though with your, uh, I mean, you're, you're starting to get into theaters. You're starting to, uh, I mean, your, your special get uh, back. I'm sorry. Out to lunch has 10 million plus views on it on YouTube. Uh, you, you're really blowing up, man. Well, I'll get canceled eventually, but this is the nice part. This is the come up, you know, <laughs> the come down is the, the ugly part. Look at Dane cook, you know? So I got to enjoy this and absorb it and take it all in. Cause it's, it's only down from here. Have, yeah, I mean, but that's part of the, the business, even if without getting canceled, that's just how this business goes. That's There's true. Really high highs and then really low lows. Yeah, but there's a couple guys who have just kind of killed it and they stay steady. They yeah. plateau. It it's hard to do that though, because there's a I mean, you mentioned a guy like Dane Cook. That's a guy that was selling out arenas and he could still sell a lot of tickets if he went out, but he just doesn't even seem that interested in going out to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I don't I don't know. That's a good point. I think he pops in at the improv every now and then, but uh is he putting out new shit? That's the question. Yeah, I don't think he has any interest because also he's he's made so much money that you kind of like that. That's I think that's the most dangerous part is when you make so much money that you become complacent or you yes, just, you like you're like I have said everything I or you you just have stories that aren't relatable to people anymore. Right. Well, that is the question. Is like the I've said everything I need to say. Like. Think about all the great artists, like music artists. They put out all these albums. Maybe they got it out. Maybe they don't have 12 albums. Maybe they have six or eight. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's the same with stand-up. Like, maybe, uh, you know, Eddie Murphy did two. Prior did, what, four or five? Yeah. Maybe that's all they had. Yeah. and Or do you think you, you should keep going? I think it depends on the person. Because I think, you know, when you're a guy like Eddie, he was you know, stand up never seemed like his first love. Right. I think he's like, Oh, I'm just that funny and that gifted and that talented that I can just kind of like, he, he likes challenges. So yeah. he's like, okay, can I become a TV star? Yes, I can. Can I become a stand up star? Yes, I can. P can I become the biggest movie star? Yes, I can. So he's, he's climbed all these mountains and he's like, okay, now I've kind of done, I won an Oscar. Like there's not really much I haven't done for a guy yeah. like that. And I think that's, and, and he's like, he doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. He's like, I know I'm funny. Like, I don't need to go on stage and talk about anything anymore. I just, I just, he likes being a, a dad now. It's, it's kind of yeah. cute. It's cute. And he got caught with a trans prostitute back uh, when it wasn't cool. Yeah, I know. Right now, if you get caught with that, he's very progressive. Exactly. But I, I, I'm one of these guys who doesn't think he should do stand up again. Look, I would love to watch it, mm -hmm. but I, I don't, I don't think it's, I like to leave with the high note. He's got cachet. He's got mystique. I feel like if he started up again, you see the cracks and the the holes in the the cement, and it it takes it it takes away from it. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that because and I was never because I didn't watch his stuff when I was a little kid because it was too dirty and I was raised Mormon. I didn't ah. see it until I started doing stand up, and I had seen so many people copy what he was doing, and I'm like word for word like ripping off his bits and stuff and i was like oh they they did they ruined him they ruined carlin and they ruined prior for me in that like i i appreciate what they did but i could never fully enjoy them because i saw bastardized versions of their material that kind of like made it so like those aren't like my heroes because i came to them late i see yeah no i get that I think it's a, it's a generational thing. Like you ask somebody about Groucho Marx now and they go, who the hell is that? Yeah, right. Ah, oh, he was so edgy. <laughs> he had some moments, but yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I think I'm with you, but Carlin, he kept going because yeah. he kept changing. Yeah. I think, and I think that's the key is when you're willing to change and you're willing to evolve, you can find you and and also Carlin became less concerned about being funny and more just focusing on doing social commentary right right so when he's when he's like oh i'm just gonna talk about the things that i want and like it's still funny but it is you know a lot more like heavy it's heavy and it's 
I don't want to say preachy, but it's it, it's philosophical in a way. Right, right. Profound. Yeah. And, yeah, and poignant. It, yeah. And it's kind of like he's what Clapter comedy has devolved or he, he he's what it was supposed to be. And it devolved into just like you guys are, you know, if you're mean to so and so, then you suck. And then people are like, yeah, that's it's not a joke, though. He, he had like well thought out ideas and, and examples and just metaphors that that worked out beyond just saying something that you know it was going to get cheers in front of when you're preaching to the choir yes here here yeah he still kept it well written he kept it fun and not fun but he kept it entertaining yeah well you're right where a lot of people took that and went just like well i have a point i'm saying the right stuff mm -hmm. like, yeah but it's also got to be entertaining and and fun to watch and maybe have a punchline at the end at least yeah well i mean we can't ask for too much <laughs> don't don't talk bad about people without punchlines it's <laughs> yeah those are um, angry people how how often do you have people get angry at your shows because you talk about everything i think you do a good job of walking the line and in talking about things in a very creative and funny way without being a dick about it i think it's very clear that they are jokes whereas there's some people you know they're like oh they're, they're saying it's jokes but it's like it feels more like marketing like yeah, he's doing a trans joke now because they want blogs written about them because it actually gets more <laughs> views. Like it's it's marketing at this point. Totally, that's a that's a great way to put it. Yeah, I've I've had it, but I think it's kind of inevitable almost. You know, like everybody's got a thing. Even like like super Republican people bitch about snowflakes, but then you make a Baron Trump joke and they try to kill you. Oh yeah, so. I had a guy. He got mad at me because I was doing Deshaun Watson and gun control jokes like simple stuff like i'm protesting the browns by not playing for them this year uh -huh. like, <laughs> that's funny yeah and then uh it says something like, like gun control like you shouldn't be able to buy a gun if your name's malachi Sh silly shit like that yeah uh and this guy walks out but he he doesn't understand comedy obviously because he walked out of my set flicking me off and like giving me a thumbs down while I was doing a joke about bestiality. So then it just looked like he was mad that I was making fun of people that are into bestiality. And I'm like, buddy, you gotta, you gotta do better with your timing. Yes, yes. I mean, everybody's a snowflake about something, you know? There's some guy who got fucked by a horse who's like, I love that Deshaun Watson bit, but that bestiality chunk, that triggered me. So, <laughs> you know, if somebody gets upset, it's like- That's how my dad died. <laughs> yeah, I saw the movie, Horse. Yeah, it's a, that ooh, one? that's a rough one. Yeah, yeah. Tough. I, I can't believe that's part of the MCU. <laughs> yeah, tough day on the farm. Yeah. <laughs> but enough horsing around. Yeah. Um, so you got some big stuff. You're going to be at the Agora in Cleveland, uh, June 18th. Uh, there's only like 30 or 40 tickets left. Uh, so I'm going to throw this up today and we'll, we'll, you know, hopefully it'll sell out by then uh and uh i mean that's that's got to be a cool feeling just for how long you've worked and and what you've been through and like you know for me seeing your rise from a guy that was you know working clubs and headlining clubs but now you're selling out theaters and it's it's such a different audience when you have like some people that know who you are and then a lot of like paper tickets or people that just come to a comedy club because it's there sure. versus when you have your audience yes yeah, I just did Huntsville, Alabama for the first time. Not my market, apparently, <laughs> but it was a lot of paper tickets. And I it, it brought me back like, oh, this is this is work. Like you're like a gunslinger now, you know. So I'm very grateful for people who buy tickets, especially these theater folk. Um, it, the whole thing is insane. It's weird because when I used to worry about getting bigger and blowing up and all that, it, nothing happened. But if you just do the work and keep the head down, stuff started happening. So that's that's what's kind of nice about theaters. But and, well, the thing is, too, and you mentioned doing the work and you are relentless at putting out different material and, you know, promoting on your Instagram and YouTube and putting out like interesting stuff. It's not all just stand up, man. It's it's cool. Yeah, there you go. And you, you get, what you should work on next is getting good at taking a compliment. That should ah. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible, but no, you're, you're like what you're doing on uh, YouTube where you're, you know, you did some man on the street stuff. You're, you, you do some behind the scenes stuff. And then you got your podcast with, uh, 
um, you do your own thing, right? On uh, what's the Patreon? Patreon, all over the road. Yes. yes. And yeah, then that's uh, me in the middle of nowhere, uh, just talking to a microphone. Uh, and then you got you, uh, you and Joe List do Tuesdays with Stories. Yes. And then you and uh, Sam Morell do uh, We Might Be Drunk. Yay. Well done. Look at you. I you got them, the resume. They're all in here somewhere. Let me tell you about when I was hosting for Sam. Oh, please. Uh, I, I was hosting for him at Hilarities right before he filmed his special last year, I think. Or two, whatever. I think it was last year. I got this. Yeah. Yeah. So he was filming that and like working on everything. And I walked on stage to like bring him down and bring the, or bring the feature down and bring him up. Yeah. And I tripped walking up the stairs at hilarities and just like fucking face planted and just, it was so embarrassing. And then because I was so flustered, I forgot his fucking name. And like, <laughs> that's one of those moments where like, I'll just be having a good day and I'll think about that. And I'll just be like, I got to go inside and lay down. I can't, I don't yeah. feel good about this still. And he that was really cool worst. about it, but it was just, yeah, it, like I'll, I'll never feel good again. I know, I've, dude, I've had so many of those. We were in the shower, then you're like, what was that? Ah, you're like slamming the wall naked in the shower. Like, God, I wish I could reverse time and take that back. But I think that's also one of the things that keeps you, like why you keep wanting to do stand-up and why you're, like, I feel like stand-up's always going to be something that you're doing. Uh because you humble yourself with you know i mean you can't even take a compliment can't do it so, can't do it. Well, so you'll never it's, feel it's, comfortable it's a blessing and a curse you yeah because a you never get comfortable but it's b i guess you'll keep working so right it's bittersweet but one time you talk about fucking up people's names i this was been 2009 i was hosting at this comedy club that's no longer there and it was like a big gig for me real comedy club i was like a bar guy you know and i had to bring up joe de rosa Mm. And he was like a, you know, he was a working comic back then. So I was very excited. And I guess I had a brain queef because I go, give it up for Joe Rogan. <laughs> the Joes and the O's and the R's, I got thrown off. And the crowd was like, oh. And then Joe DeRosa's unappealing ass walks out and nobody wants to see that. And they were <laughs> like, uh, and then he ate shit. Uh, that's that. Yeah, that's a rough one. Because that one, that like hurts me forgetting Sam's name. Everybody knows Sam's name. Right. I just look like an ass. Like that hurts DeRosa's whole set. And then you like have to carry that around. You're like, ah. yes. And, oh. and I was the new guy. I shouldn't yeah. have been there already. So it was, it was bad. Yeah. He was cool about it. He's a good guy. That's rough. You're about to go on tour doing some stuff with uh, Bert Kreischer. Uh, and you, you work with Bert uh, pretty regularly when he's doing like a bigger shows, but he's doing this uh, festival tour. Uh, what is he calling it? Fully like, loaded. Fully loaded. Yes, that's right. Uh, and uh, you're still a comic that drinks, which is nice. Uh, we're, we're a dying breed. Uh, some some from drinking. Yeah. But, you know, I got a podcast about it. And uh, Bert, you know, I, I can do headline my own shows, but I just love working with him. And he's fun. And he's he's way above all of us. But he, he doesn't have any of that, you know, ego bullshit, which is so nice. There's no big timing or any of that. And he, uh, he loves fun and he loves a party and he loves pr bringing that to an audience, uh, you know, yes. him do some of these bigger venues. And he's, you know, if you've, you've ever seen someone in like a stadium, it can be kind of blah with stand up, but Bert's such a big personality that it can yes. still like overcome. And then he's, he's bringing, you know, you and a talent like it's great people. I think Taylor Tomlinson's on the tour. Uh, Nikki, Fortune Nikki. Beamster, uh, David Tell, Big J, Joey Diaz. Yeah. So Fun like it's it like all just killers, and uh, you know just in in Bert isn't just the guy that's gonna like be like okay we did the show let's go hang it like there might be some people relapsing on this tour like oh <laughs> that's the plan yeah uh that, that'll be the name of the second uh second year of it relapse tour relapse tour uh but no he, he just it puts on such a good time and uh I, you know you you being a part of that and also you being such a different kind of performer compared to you know he's like storytelling long form and you you do more concise bits i mean you still have some stories but they're not these big grandiose stories like bert has you know your yeah. stories are punchier and, and and have like more of a you know twist to them and, and are sillier i would say 
Yeah, well, you know how a lot of comics are. We tend to like what we're not. You yeah. Know, we go, oh, uh, Dave Chappelle's like, I love Dave Attell. And you're like, yeah, but you're kind of preachy and yeah. profound where Dave Attell is just zinger after zinger mm-hmm. about midgets. So Bert, <laughs> I think, likes us as zinger guys. And yeah. I think he's got quick jokes. And so uh, Attell, obviously. So it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Um, Can't wait. Then, then again, the Agora in Cleveland. Yes. June 18th. There's a few tickets left. So you can get them by going to what? MarkNorman.com? MarkNormanComedy.com. And I got to say, Cleveland is tough, tough to sell. T- you guys wait till the last minute. Dude. Every other town sold out way earlier. So that's, I'm friends with uh, the talent booker there. And, uh-huh. it, and so I talked to him about that stuff. And he's like, it is so frustrating because people want to come out but it is literally a last minute town for so many concerts and so many uh comedians and stuff like that where they know shows will sell out but it's going to be a last minute thing and you know you're like a week out and i think it'll sell out you know in in plenty of time but yeah it's cleveland's known for waiting until the last minute yeah yeah thank god i mean schultz had a whole spiel about it i I don't know if you saw that on youtube but he was just like everything sold out but cleveland what the fuck and then I was like, what's he talking about? I do well at hilarities. And then I put my theater up and here we are. But Stefano had a, a show book there and it was like, he's got fans here. He did hilarities and he sold real well, but he, he had a same theater you're going to. Uh, and he's like, I'm canceling it. Cause I can't, I can't live with the anxiety of <laughs> not having tickets sold. Like it's making me nuts. So it's dude, a half full theater is a punch in the taint. I mean, oh. it stings. So it's kind of sell out or nothing with theaters. Yeah. Club, yeah. you got a curtain. You can move move around. You can do crowd work. It's more intimate. But at the, you're just looking off into that vast balcony. There's, there's a guy sweeping up there. Woo! <laughs> Talk about an ego kill. I uh, Yeah. So I, the, the place that we're going to – I'm going to be opening for you, uh, and Chris Allen's going to be on the show, who's a very funny guy as well. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I do, like, a Christmas show there, and I get about – five or six hundred it's it seats about 900 i got like five or six so, so it's all lower level stuff and there's people like oh man it was packed and i was like because you guys they're not aware that the upstairs was empty so like yes. i completely uh re- relate to that with you know i'm happy to get 600 people out to a show i'm not but yeah you, you still have those 300 empty seats in the <laughs> back of your mind you're like ah damn yeah but this. as long as they think it was full that's all that matters right exactly it's so all about appearances which is what is one of the most uh, frustrating things when you're a comic, especially when you came up in the time where we like, there's so many comics now that are like, yeah, I'm great. And they're, that's how they promote. And it's like, that's so hard to do. <laughs> I know. I know. That's the other thing about theaters is like, it, it's very nice. It's very flattering. It's nice to have some career progression, but it, your whole life is just selling tickets. Yeah. And that's why you see guys like Bert, you know, in a speedo yeah. uh, with roller skates on. Cause it's just like tickets, 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 butts and seats, move yeah, those sales. It's a lot of stress. And that's why buy your tickets in advance. That's, that's uh, what we'll tell the people. If you're going to see Mark or anybody, get your tickets as soon as you can so that we can sleep at night. I need Will Smith to slap me just to get that. that ticket bump. I, I yeah. would get it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And you get to meet Will Smith. I mean, it's a weird way to meet somebody, but I'll take it. Yeah. I think that's better than a picture. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Good point. Also, you can get a you can just screenshot the yeah, the action. Tour poster and everything. This 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 tour slaps. <laughs> All right, Mark. I'll let you go. I know you're a busy guy. Uh thanks for uh chatting with me, and then I'll see you on June 18th at the Agora. Sold out. Hey, th- Thank you, Billy. I'm sure we will get there, but I appreciate it, and I'll see you there. All right, see you there, man. Bye. This is the Bill Squire Show.